Okay, what I'm making today is a stainless steel parts um, bin, and basically, uh, this is a piece of stainless steel that I had from the scrapyard, and uh, I've drawn out my dimensions on this uh, stainless, and I'll now cut it out, and then I'll bend it on the brake, and uh, hopefully it'll turn out to be a pretty decent little uh, parts bin. Uh, I need this for whenever I disassemble fine stuff such as a carburetor to put my parts in and they won't get lost so that's what I'm working on now one thing about this stainless is the edge here this is this is 22 gauge stainless by the way um, the edge is kind of sharp so what I'm going to do is mark my um, edge two inches and then what I'll do is is half that and then fold it over so that we have a nice smooth edge as opposed to a sharp edge. And what I'm doing is using this old uh, piece of molding to do the marking. Uh, I do have to cut these little squares out. And uh, I should be able to cut this with my little shears here. So I'm marking half the distance and uh, I'm marking it a little more precisely because I want my bend to be exactly where I want it. So I'm using this uh, scribe. You can see that, but I now have marks at half the distance of my upper lip, and so what I'm going to do now is bend those. Now, I've got it right on my scribe mark. Let's see what happens. do is bend this down Yeah, that looks pretty nice. I'll just continue that or all around all four corners. Little body hammer on. I'm just gonna flatten this out a little bit more.
Okay, I have these edges uh, bent down real nicely. Hopefully you can see that. And so now what I'm going to do is make my final bend and bend at this line to make the container. Okay, this is not a pan break. So what I have to do is compromise when it comes to folding the other two edges because let me show you what happens. This edge here will contact this before you get the full 90 degrees. So what I'm going to do is just bend what I can with the break and then I'll just use my hand uh, and bend it probably on the vise. Okay, so that's as far as it'll go. I found that using my duckbill pliers was the best tool that I had in finishing out bending these two sides here that was not bent to 190 uh, degrees. And that works pretty good. You can see you can get it right up to where you want it. Just take it slow. Okay. So what I'll do is um, I'll weld up these corners. You can see there's a little bit of a gap right there. I guess you can see that. See that gap? I'll weld that up with stainless. And uh, I'll have a nice little pan to put my uh, parts in. My little delicate parts. Whenever I'm saying cleaning out a carburetor or something like that. <laughs>